so fucking sucks. I mean, like, really, really sucks. <sighs> of course, this assignment is going to start with a stupid, <laughs> stupid breakup. I mean, how cliche is that? It wasn't supposed to start with a breakup. It was supposed to start with... I don't know, something better than a breakup. John, shit, I can't use his real name. Um, okay, quick disclaimer for this whole shebang. Uh, I will not be using anyone's real names, except for mine. Obviously, my name is actually Laura. Um, yeah, let's call him... Tony. Uh, so Tony and I just ended our three and a half year relationship. I shouldn't say we. I ended it. And it was the right thing to do. It was right to end it, but... Boy, does it feel like someone just sucker punched me right in the gut. <laughs> but if I'm really honest with myself, I haven't been happy for a really long time. I mean, I've, I've experienced happiness, generally speaking, but I haven't been happy in this relationship for a really, really long time. And recognizing that really, really sucks. Because for a while, I thought that, like, Tony and I were endgame. Like, I thought I was going to grow old with this dumbass. <laughs> I, 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 I had a vision of my future, and it always had Tony in it. You know, just Laura and Tony forever. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Like, our relationship was mostly long distance and for the last year and a half we were rarely ever in the same room together our quality time was over the phone our sex was over the phone everything was over the phone you're probably wondering what distant land tony lived in that kept us so far apart <laughs> That's right, New Goddamn Jersey. You know, I've had guys travel farther for a one night stand. But, you know, Tony just liked things the way they were uncomplicated, distant. And his solution for, you know, my need for physical intimacy and sex, <laughs> he offered to buy me a fuck machine. <laughs> Haiku. You thought you could solve all or many problems right? with a Fuck machine. Huh. <laughs> nope. Oh, God. Why am I crying over this guy? Why? Why? I mean, why did I think that he was the one? I mean, how can someone be the one if they don't even want to be in the same goddamn room as you? How does that even work? relationships, men, I mean, all of this has never been easy for me. And maybe I'm just cursed to suck at it forever. I turned 30 this past year and I just thought I would be, I don't know, somewhere different. When I was a kid, I made a list. Did anyone else do that? I mean, I made a list of all the things I wanted to achieve before I was 30. So, this list is from the late 90s. 
Let's see. Okay, things to do before I turn 30. One, fall in love. Two, get married. Three, have kids. Uh, one boy and one girl. The boy first so that he can defend his little sister. Uh, four, move to New York City and live in a mansion. Five, star in a Broadway show. Six, be a rocket. Seven, publish a novel. And eight, look good in a bikini. Yep. Nowhere, nowhere on this list does it say, uh, fall in love with a 38-year-old businessman who A, doesn't even like the Muppets, B, doesn't like theater, and C, doesn't want any physical contact with me. God, I wish I could just throttle the idiotic 10-year-old who wrote this list. I mean, who did she think she was? I know, I know. Don't judge me, okay? I... Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You know, I have a feeling that 10 year old me would really hate 30 year old me, but more on that another time, maybe. <sighs> this was supposed to start with a happy relationship. That's where I was supposed to be.